let them help you. All right, we're ready to meet Fred. Fred Hello. here is from uh, Hawaii. He's the uh, senior citizen of the group. Is that Aloha. okay to say that? Aloha. Fred, uh, it's Fred, 74 years old. And aloha uh, to you. You live on the big island of Hawaii. Yeah, and when I applied here, um, they were a little concerned about my age until they decided I was 74 going on 12. <laughs> yes, you're, you're in beautiful shape, obviously. Uh, now, you uh, worked as a teacher in an outdoor capacity, or I'm sure you did many things during your life. But I did. I taught for about 20 years in Hawaii Community College, and uh, I was able to do a lot of outdoor field trips and uh, really learned how to teach by teaching community college students. Uh, I learned that I had to shut up and turn the learning over to the students. And so we just go out on a field trip. Students had a worksheet and they had to go and figure everything out for themselves. So yeah, I really became a good teacher when I stopped trying to teach. What, what's uh, most yeah. of the people we meet here in Craig are, are, are much younger than you. Um, it seems like when you're younger, you take more chances, more risk in life, and do things maybe that uh, maybe you shouldn't be doing, and that's how you have the accident. What happened to you? Well, obviously, that's not true for me or for many other people that are uh, going into the so-called old age nowadays. Look at this hands, gonna, man. Tear your head off. Big, strong looking hands, <laughs> you, man. Yeah. You betcha. I think you're going to see a lot more people my age coming in because more and more seniors are Active. out there doing things. In my case, I've been a caver all my life, a cave scientist. Uh, this was probably an accident waiting to happen, and it finally caught up with me. Um, I did a header. 15 feet into a pit, uh, got a little careless, uh, had my helmet on, and that that's what saved me because uh, I only had a partial movement of the spine, an incomplete, and that and it also hit me on uh, below the really serious part of the of the vertebrae. So I still have a lot of motion, but um, I was—I've uh, been a cave scientist all my life, a uh, serious cave scientist. I studied cave cockroaches, and more recently, I'm on a team studying cave slime. That's so, why you and floor wax related yeah, yeah, so well. Yeah, he looks right at me. You know, <laughs> why do I go to the bathroom? You know. Cockroaches and bread. slime. I can see why yeah. you guys became best friends yeah. very quickly. Let me check. I, and, uh, I see slime. And but. for people concerned about how the government spends their money, I, I financed all my cave cockroach studies on my own nickel uh, all, all over the world, Australia, Southeast Asia, Madagascar. I uh, have one of the world's biggest collection of a tiny cave cockroach. It's only about as big as a termite. But recently, I've been working with a woman in uh, New Mexico who has a big government grant to study cave slime, and that's the microbial mats that grow in lava tubes. And they figure if there's life on the moon or Mars, it's probably living in the lava tubes. So. NASA is willing to support this research. Uh, and every time we go in a lava tube, collect another patch of cave bacteria, they come up with dozens and dozens of, of new things that are adapted to very strange underground life. So you're, you're, you're thinking about moving forward. You're, you're moving forward. Absolutely. Uh, the rest of my life is ahead of me. I, I still plan to publish, do research, and in two years, I'm going to get back in the caves. So, Good for you. Yeah, wow. I'm moving on. Wow, great.
great story. Yeah, uh, and it's, it's so it's moving on. Man. He's moving on. Okay. Moving, moving forward. Uh, you're gonna bet against him. I ain't. He's moving on. I, I'm and so I, I'm, I'm so happy to meet you. And I have to say, I'm really pleased to be here at at Craig Hospital. I just found the people here absolutely tip top. They uh, go way out to find out what all my personal problems are and to work on solving them. And uh, the whole team, Dr. Johansson, Dr. Stone, and all the nurses and therapy people have just done a wonderful job. So I nice. think this is the place that's giving me the options. They work on solving personal problems. Maybe you want to check in. Do they have pharmaceuticals on that? <laughs> because, you know, I, I can only take three, four hours of counseling a day. You get a couple weeks off over the holidays, just come on over here. Yeah. I, Be a new man January 1st. I, I, I asked for Seroquel for Christmas. <laughs> Anyways. That's, Fred, you're an amazing Fred, guy. We're, you're an yeah. amazing guy, Fred. I'm glad we met you today. Oh, thank I've, you. I, I'm thank very you. glad to have met you. Thanks and for coming by. Thank you very much. And let's say hi to Chris over here. Chris, uh, we met Chris here a couple years ago.